Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Lei, and this work is done under supervision of Prof Professor Sun Bandri. Uh, in this talk, I will present you a vehicular speed control system, Copico Drive, to assist drivers to improve fuel efficiency. So why you want to improve fuel efficiency? Because you need to pay for that. So you save gas, you save money. When you see more and more, then you, you can buy uh, Louis Wooden and Chanel handbags to your girlfriend to make her happy. So now you see how important the problem is. So at the, meanwhile, uh, the more gas in cons you consumed, uh, the more carbon emitted, which is not very good for the environment. Uh, so you may wonder how EcoDrive can do to help. So EcoDrive does two things. First. Uh, it models the relation between fuel injection rate and uh, speed change. Uh, based on the model, uh, it calculates the fuel efficient driving strategy and the control fuel injection rate. Uh, by doing so, it can improve 20 to 30 percent of uh, fuel consumption. And uh, if you want, you can sac sacrifice some travel time. You can expect more savings. So you may ask how EcoDrive achieves this. Before going into technical details, I will give you a simple example. Uh, consider, considering that you want to drive from A to B in a road segment and the speed limit 40 km per hour. So what's your driving strategy? So let me give you two extreme examples. So first, driver conserver, who will cruise at one km per hour to the end. So when you're driving in constant speed, the relation between fuel efficiency and uh, speed is a bell curve. So cruising at low, sp uh, low speed is not e efficient. So another case, driver aggressor, who will accelerate to 40 km per hour in one second and cruise to the end. So we have two observations here. First, this guy is rich at driving a Ferrari, and the second, this is not a uh, uh, fuel efficient driving style as well because it wastes too much gas in acceleration. So what EcoDrive do? EcoDrive calculates the fuel consumption of various acceleration and uh, cruising strategies. So you can either choose the most fuel efficient strategy or you can find a trade-off between travel time and gas consumption. So EcoDrive consists of three parts. First uh, part is to sense the OBD parameters from the OBD part. So OBD part is the standard part that for in all modern vehicles, you can read the vehicle parameters from there. So based on the OBD parameters, we model the vehicle forces to find the relation between fuel rejection rate and speed change. So based on the model, we calculate the driving strategy and control air fuel injection rate. So sensing OBD parameters. So first I will introduce you the relation between OBD parameters and uh, uh, power transition in vehicle, vehicle system. Uh, in vehicle system, the power transition can see four parts, the gas pedal, engine, transmission, and the wheel. When you press the gas pedal, the gas pedal position sensor will send the, gas, uh, the position value to the car control system. The car control system then control the fuel injection rate into the engine. The engine explores the, air, the fuel and air and produces rotation power. The power then transcends to the wheel through transmission. So basically our model wants to find the relation between the air fuel rate and the vehicle speed change. So to build a model that works on, on, under any road, road, road conditions and uh, various vehicle types, so we collect data from uh, both urban and highway environments. Our urban data covers mainly medicine and Chicago. And we also collect the data from uh, lo medicine local highways and uh, cross-state highways in North America. So the total 10,000 miles are collected from 12 different vehicles of different make, model, different makes and model and year. So based on model, we want to model the vehicle force to find the relation between fuel ejection rate and the vehicle speed chain. So first, we want to model the proportion produced by the engine. It's a function of the air fuel ejection rate, which is used to produce the power. Another is the gear ratio, which is used to transceive the power to the wheel. 
So we model direction loss and wind resistance is, uh, as e equivalent to proportion when the car is dr driving in constant speed uh, on flat road. So we also want to model the grid resistance when the car is driving upslope or downslope. So uh, based on the model, we build a air fuel rate profile. This profile basically is the lookup table. So for each item in the table, is the air fuel rate you need to consume if you want to accelerate at a certain acceleration and a certain speed. So in this example, is the, the air fuel rate you need to consume if you, if you want to accelerate at 0 0.1 meter per second per second at two kilometer per hour, to, uh, at the speed of two kilometer per hour. So before calculating the most efficient uh, driving strategy, we want to know how we can actually control the fuel ejection rate. So we are using drive by wear technology. So this is different from the traditional mechanical um, uh, method that uh, use some phasal connection between the gas pedal and the fuel injector. So by using drive by wear, the gas pedal position is sent to the core control system. It's called the, the electronic control unit. Then the ECU then send the, send, control the air fuel ejection rate. So each drive controller uses the, use the drive by wire technology to control the uh, air fuel injection rate to, uh, to like uh, control the speed of the car. So we have all the uh, mechanism uh, is working. So now we want to calculate uh, uh, the driving strategies. So let's go back to the simple example. You want to drive from A to B with the distance D. So with the speed limits capital V. So we model it as a dynamic programming problem. Problem. So for each state in the in the DP model, uh, we record the minimum fuel cost uh, at at each distance and each speed. So now the problem becomes that how we calculate how we proceed to each state. So there are two cases. Case one, the car cruises to current state, V plus one, D plus one. So this case is simple. We can calculate the, the driving time like by, uh, because we know it proceeds to or from distance D to D, D plus one. We know the distance, we know the speed, then we, we know the time. After we, 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 we can extract from the air fuel rate cost from the profile, then we can calculate the, the fuel cost. Uh, the second case, the car accelerates to current state uh, at acceleration AX, where AS is a variable. So uh, for a certain uh, acceleration AX, you can, we can calculate the travel time because we know it travel from V to V plus one. We can also calculate the distance DX. So we iterating all the possible acceleration's and uh, find the minimum uh, fuel consumption. So based on these two cases, we can, for the last column of the table, it records the minimum f uh, fuel cost uh, when the car is uh, cruising at each speed. So we can find the trade-off between travel time and the fuel consumption. So implementation and uh, evaluation. So we, we use the uh, OBD scanner with the uh, USB port. We can, we can uh, read from a laptop to, uh, we can read the OBD parameters from the uh, laptop. We use the Arduino board to convert the digital uh, position value to the voltage to send it to the car. We run a so, uh, so system on, on uh, latest Ubuntu, and we use one thread to write command to the OBD port, and another thread to read read the parameters and write the gas pedal position. So this is, uh, we imp implemented our system in uh, 2011, uh, Chevy Impala. So in th this figure, we use the two connectors. One connector is connected to the car in a way, the same to gas pedal, so we can control the uh, uh, extraction in a way similar to gas pedal. Another we connect to the original gas pedal so we can switch between gas pedal operation and the eco drive operation by using the switch. So to evaluate uh, eco drive, we tested it in both urban and highway environment for over 100 miles. So we compare with human drivers and the cruise control. 
uh, we evaluate it in urban road segment from 50 meters to 1,000 meters. So for each road segment, we drive 10, ten times uh, of you could drive and compare with the uh, human drivers. KPL is the metric to measure fuel efficiency. So basically, it's uh, giving you a certain amount of gas how long you can drive. So the higher, the better. So we also, on highway, we make a case study about a, a similar speed control system, cruise control, which uh, controls the car is driving in constant speed. So cruise control uh, generally do uh, a great job uh, when, he, when you are driving in constant speed on flat road, but it tends to accelerate aggressively if you go up slope or you manually increase the speed. So while you could drive can gradually change the fuel ejection rate. So you see uh, in, the, in this experiment, both cruise control and EcoDrive has a similar start and end speed, but uh, EcoDrive consumes much less gas than cruise control. So our highway uh, evaluation is done by, with tests, with, uh, for each test, we run two kilometers and we run multiple, multiple tests. For each point in the, in the figure, it's, a two kilo, it's about two kilometers. So we compare it, you could drive with the history driving data uh, on the same highway segments. So you could drive can achieve like a 30% higher fuel efficiency than human drivers and uh, more than 10% than cruise control. So we also run experiment to, to, to see the uh, relation between travel time and the fuel efficiency. So you could drive can achieve higher, higher fuel efficiency when uh, under the same travel, travel time. It can also, you can also find a trade-off between travel time and uh, fuel efficiency. Uh, so here I want to show you an um, interesting observation from our highway data. So basically this is, um, this is the collect from the six cars uh, of their accumulated driving miles. Uh, the uh, the access uh, is the speed. Uh, so you, you see that drivers tend to drive much faster than the best, uh, than the most fuel efficient speed. But what is more interesting is that they even drive much higher than the speed limit. So basically in Wisconsin, I never see a speed limit is higher than 70 miles per hour, which is the 110 kilometer per hour. So, but you see all the six drivers, they just drive much higher speed. In the half of the time, they drive higher speed than uh, 1,010. So uh, if you remember that the uh, fuel efficiency and the speed is the bell curve, the higher the, higher the speed, the lower the fuel efficiency. Efficiency. So, summary: Eco Drive controls the fuel ejection rate. It provides you a um, trade-off between travel time and uh, fuel, fuel efficiency, and it can help you to save gas. And uh, cruise control is not fuel efficient when you want to accelerate or you go up slope. So, here are some takeaways for the drivers. Uh, you, you want to gradually press your gas pedal. You don't want to frequently press and release. Which will you, you, you frequent release will give you instant high fuel efficiency, but it's not very good uh, overall. So second, you want to use cruise control. Although it's not good at some time, but it's, it's still better than human driver. Third, uh, you want to drive, drive on the speed limit. If you want to, you can simply save like 20 to 40 percent of the all gas by simply following the law. Okay, that's that's uh, that's my talk, and, and I'm ready to take questions. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions?